Hello, everybody. I am uh, Dr. Bhavisha Joshi, and some of you probably already know me. And there might be a few who are new to our method and who do not know me. So just to give you a little bit of an information, I have been um, practicing and for the past almost, I've been in homeopathy for the past 22 years now. And uh, for the last about 15 to 17 years, Sachindra and I, Sachindra is my husband, we have been teaching homeopathy all over the world. I've also written four books and my fifth book on the mammal remedies will soon be out. Um, uh, this was going to be my first time to Bulgaria and I'm really excited about it as you can see because it's about 5.30 a.m. in Vancouver and I am talking to all of you. So I'm surely excited to come on this trip to Bulgaria and bring some very, very interesting cases for all of you. Um, my focus on this trip is going to be mainly on animal remedies. You know, we are a group of different homeopaths and everybody is bringing in certain subjects. And this time I'm bringing in animal remedies. I am also going to talk about case taking in animal remedies. I find that people have great difficulty in coming to animal remedies. And once they come to the animal remedy, uh, it's a big chaos within the kingdom. You know, which one to choose? Almost every case looks like CPR cases, but that is not the case. So my focus is going to be, first of all, on trying to improve your case taking skills and analytical skills in animal remedies or in the entire animal kingdom. How does one ask the questions? Once the questions are asked, how does one proceed to the next question? And how does one make a complete picture or um, let's say the portrait of the pattern of the patient? I call it a deep inner pattern. And we are all trying to look for and understand and grasp the pattern of each patient. So in the case taking, we will go very, very systematically from the patient's physical complaints into the whole core and understanding of the personality and how do you use the story, the reactions, the sensations, the emotions, and all the information given by the patient and how do you create a pattern of the patient, create the sensation of the patient, and therefore, and then finally, connect it to the um, source of the animal remedy. Um, so that is about case taking. Uh, but I'm also going to then talk about the features of the animal kingdom and how do you pick animal kingdom cases? What is the language? Yeah? What are the characteristics? What are the themes where even if the patient does not come out with an animal, or if the patient is trying to be very compensated, how can you find it out? How can you read between the lines and get, um, come to the animal remedy? Another important thing is, the way I have logically worked with the entire animal kingdom, we have now worked with the entire animal kingdom and made very clear um, distinct themes within the animal kingdom which separates the different classes from 